What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about what my plans are to building Shin Yan. Now for those of you guys who don't know who Shin Yan is, um, she's basically the other character that, that's supposed to be coming alongside of Zhang Li. If you guys are looking for confirmation of this information, you guys can find this in your notices with the version 1.1 details for the first part. It tells you when she's coming and what her actual abilities are. Now, unfortunately, they didn't really obviously tell us any multipliers or anything like that. So in order to avoid any kind of craziness, especially with everything that's been going on, we're going to avoid talking specifically about her kit and the constellations and all that um, until she actually drops or at least closer to the actual release date itself. But today I do want to talk to you guys about some preparation that I have been doing for Shin Yan and my initial thoughts on that. Um, so you guys can start to really think about this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in. So I've been using Shang Ling uh, to kind of, you know, put some stuff in there uh, to, to kind of put some filler artifacts on uh, to really start to prep for Shen Yan. And the big thing is, from what I understand, her kit might be working with defense in terms of like her shield scaling and stuff like that. Um, so again, we're going to be waiting for confirmation <laughs> as we get closer. But that's something that I'm looking at personally in terms of building Shen Yan. Now, what I'm looking at is because she's a melee damage dealer and Shin Yan uses a claymore, my focus is going to be more on physical damage bonus. So for her cup, um, that's specifically what I'm looking for regardless of the type of gear set that I try to use. So physical damage bonus is going to be my focus. Now granted, when she comes out, if there's a situation where she ends up using pyro damage so frequently that it just makes more sense for me to go pyro bonus damage, then that's something that I will look at as well. Outside of this, if I'm looking at her helmet, I'm probably looking for more of potentially a attack percent piece. And for her hourglass, I'm most likely going to be looking for attack percent. Another way that I'm thinking about building her is my, you know, generic build for most of my DPS heroes is, you know, attack, crit damage, attack. So like attack percent on the hourglass, attack percent on the cup, and a crit damage helmet. Again, this is all dependent on whether or not I can get uh, enough crit rate to sustain. I like to put that magical marker at around 70% crit rate before I start rocking with the crit damage helmet but if I can get more than that then cool but I feel like sometimes you can also get away with a little bit less I but I wouldn't go any lower than 50% now when I look at Shin Yan and the way that I'm thinking about building her I have a lot of options I feel like I feel like I could go with like a crimson witch set as I showcased here uh, just for the pyro bonus damage plus the four piece set uh, increases overloaded and burning damage by 40% increases vaporize and melt damage by 15% and using an elemental skill increases two piece set effects by 50% for 10 seconds. Now the reason why this is good, especially if you guys are gonna be pairing Shin Yan with other heroes like Child or Xing Cho, uh, you know, little water boy with the sword, um, this can be really, really, really spicy, uh, especially because of the way that it looks like her kit is set up with a combination of like the fire damage plus the ability to deal a considerable amount of physical damage. Adding in the fact that she also has a shield opens up even more gear sets. So if you guys are planning to build her, I'd be looking at like Crimson Witch, definitely Bolide could be a good option. And I think a really good option for her as well, disregard the jail bonus damage, but Bloodstained I think could be a monster set on her as well. If you're trying to really take her physical damage to the next level, again, of course, paired with a physical damage cup. I'd almost go as far as saying Bloodstained seems like it'd be perfectly designed for her. Uh, but again, this is going to take more testing. If I had to choose between three gear sets that I'm going to be running specifically for Shin Yan, it'd have to be between Crimson Witch, Bolide, and Bloodstain. Now, there's some other sets that you can run on her as well, I think, like Gladiator, you know, if you guys are just getting into like four star gear, or Berserker, or stuff like that, if you guys are kind of easing into it, especially since you guys really shouldn't be farming domains anyway till probably post 40. But until then, you guys can get away with the basic sets. But if we're talking specifically about five star sets, these are the three sets that I'm thinking. Thinking about again bloodstain bolide and or crimson witch or combination of all of the above so you can run a two and two to crimson to bolide to bloodstain to crimson you know so on and so forth in terms of weapons i think we have a lot of options if i was gonna rock with a four star sword with shin yan i'm kind of torn between prototype animus and white blind uh, just because White Blind gives the defense bonus, which naturally is going to make, you know, her shield strength stronger. Um, prototype Animus could be better, I think, just for just all-out DPS. 
but because she has so much flexibility in her kit uh, between the physical damage and or you know the elemental damage and or the protection i think you could go with either one and it's 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 going to really boil down to personal preference in terms of the four star sacrificial greatsword could also be really good i think of course if you're trying to keep her shield up permanently uh and you know the longer her shield is up you know the more protection you guys get and potentially the more damage you guys can deal as well and then for the bp weapon i think serpent spine could also be really nice especially for the extra crit rate uh, due to the fact that she's going to be shielding herself quite a bit i think this could potentially offset the problem that we ran into with deluke where with deluke if you try to use the sword on deluke and he set himself on fire it basically negated the whole battle pass effects however with shinyan since she's going to be operating with a shield um, i think that could really offset that and really allow you to utilize more of a potential if you guys decided to go with the two-hand sword for the battle pass in terms of five-star weapons, I think it's really a toss-up. It's really just going to depend on which one you personally prefer. I know a lot of the newer weapons that are going to be coming out, they basically all do the same thing, and they're all insane um, in terms of any character that's going to be using a shield effect, especially for the Claymore Memory of Dust as well. Um, so if you guys are fortunate enough to get one of these, I, I can't can't think of really any other sword that i'd recommend uh if you guys happen to have the unforged or if you guys have wolf's gravestone of course uh i think these are two very very prime options of course and then of course skyward pride but like i said any of these uh can work very well it's just going to really depend on you taking into consideration the entirety of the build and that's kind of what i'm looking at too especially when it comes to the unforged as you know with the way that the new weapons work with these increasing the shield strength and the amount of power that you deal you know if you're under shield effects uh is i have to make sure that when i set up shinyan's build that she has enough crit rate and crit damage uh to still deliver um so i'm not losing out on too much so the big thing here is like if i decided to go with like the bp sword then the bp sword is going to give me some passive crit rate that i can use which of course in turn will make it easier for me to build my character versus if i have enough crit rate um then of course i can pretty much use any weapon that i want but I also have to pay attention to how much damage bonus each of these particular weapons are going to be adding. Especially when we look at a weapon like Wolf's Gravestone with the attack bonus that we get here and or the Unforged under shield effects how much damage we're going to get here. Uh, those are a couple of things that I'm taking into consideration. Ideal world with my gear being sufficient enough, um, I'm looking definitely at the Unforged personally um, if I'm lucky enough to get it. In terms of overall team functionality, I think that if I were to run Shinyan, I'm looking to pair her with potentially water heroes. Um, so I'm looking to build her with like child, right? So I can play with some stuff like that. Or I'm potentially looking at building her with other fire heroes like a Bennett so I can maximize the DPS. Other heroes I would potentially put her with are any type of ice heroes uh, to create the melt damage and or lightning heroes if I was trying to amplify. So I think that Kaching is a really good choice or heroes like Beto or potentially Lisa. But I feel like she has a lot of flexibility uh, when it comes to her kit, but for sure I'd make sure that she has some, some type of heal and or elemental synergy, whichever way you decide to go. Um, I think you could even flirt as far as going with like a double geo, double pyro composition. If you guys wanted to run like Bennett as your primary healer with like Shinyan and run with like a Ningguang and a Zhongli, um, especially if you guys are looking to maximize DPS, I think that could be definitely something. Uh, again, this will take more testing as Shinyan comes out. Uh, but these are some of the things that I'm thinking about. Uh, because of the fact that Shinyan operates with a shield and she seems like she's going to be getting in there all the time, I'm... I'm favoring more heroes that actually do things that enhance the aura of Shinyan. So that's why I'm thinking about heroes like Beto, thinking about heroes like Faisal, right, with the with, with Oz and the turret, heroes like Kaya, if I'm trying to create the consistent melt damage, if I'm using Shinyan as a primary, or I'm looking at heroes like Mona, if we're just trying to maximize DPS. I think there are a lot of options when it comes to building her, just, you know, looking at how she functions and how she performs. And I'm super duper excited to build her. So when I look at her kit and I think about like the type of weapons and stuff that I want to put together with her kit. So I'm thinking about the stuff that she needs. So if you guys haven't been getting Violet Grass, please. 
Go get your violet grass because she definitely, definitely needs all of that. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what are your plans? What do you guys intend on doing with her uh, kit? How are you guys going to build her? Are you guys going with Bloodstain? Are you guys going with Bolide? Are you guys going with Crimson Witch? Let me know that in the comment box below. But with that being said, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.